Well, the picks have been made, and some of them are a little odd here. Uh, starting ones, exactly what you'd expect. Yellow went with technology. Why? Well, they're pretty full up on everything they need. And there was a bonus chip for it, or no, there wasn't, was there? I don't remember what, no, the bonus is on political. And they feel like the best advantage that they can get at this point is the tech advantage. The problem here, though, is they haven't spent for these. And I think everybody should be looking towards getting their victory points, even yellow. But they feel like they have to win against green you know, over here. There was the question of the warfare chip, which would allow them to produce an attack or attack and attack, either of which seemed more valuable, but they held off on those. Okay. On to green. They took the political chip, largely because they believe they have enough votes, especially after people produce, as they did last time they did this, to just pass something that they want. So, unlike most players, who look at the political and say, eh, what, you know, what's the chance I'm going to get anything off of this <coughs> outside of stacking the deck? Green thinks that they can actually force uh, the vote that they want to go through. And they can discard the first one if they don't like it. So uh, it should, should be an interesting option. Uh, purple went with warfare of all people even though they only have one thing. Their plan here is to move into the system, take it, and then uh, build in it and start a forward base where they can operate against blue from. Which may or may not work. But one of the biggies is if they can get themselves a cannon there, uh, then they can pretty much start just picking this off with that. Uh, who else? Trade, you know, the options are running low at this point. Logistics wouldn't help. Trade at least gets him some money, and money is something he's kind of short on. And that's about it. Ended up leaving uh, diplomacy behind. Green could have used that to prevent one of their attackers. They chose not to, which I think is a little strange. Uh, and then... The logistics got a second bonus chit on it, which is going to make it more valuable if there's another turn. All right, let's get started. Blue engaged in a massive attack on green here. Green played a couple of important cards. Uh, one of them, actually on their turn, they played the Goodyear card, which got them these piles of trade goods because they have so many planets. But they also played uh, Emergency Repairs, I don't know if they played something else, but it saved their dreadnoughts. They also convinced Purple, who was debating not doing so, hey, you really do want to fire your guns to defend me, because if you don't, he's going to come through you to get at me. <laughs> and that was somewhat of a convincing argument. Um, anyway, he managed to wipe out the Blue Fleet at almost no losses to his own. Lost a cruiser and took a couple damage on his dreadnoughts. Pretty massive uh, victory, considering that they were probably equally matched battle uh, fleets. Okay, so on this time around, uh, the red player dropped out and dropped his initiative counter for strategy over here because, well, he wants to have the points to buy that extra victory point. Some danger still, I think, that the game could end with a green victory on the supremacy one, but uh, Red's looking at um, the fact that they won't be able to buy a technology to get the point for that this time, so they want to make sure they get one of their points, try to pull themselves into the lead. Uh, next time they're going to be taking... Uh, Two more victory points for the uh, 
whatever the hell it is, number eight, the Imperial option. So they'll be in pretty good shape if they move forward a space this turn, uh, which is what they're looking at. And then Green fired the political action and got a law passed. They were kind of the surprise voter for this one. The law is that all dreadnoughts and war sons get a minus two on all combat rolls. Um, essentially, those very heavy weapons have been made illegal somewhat, and the armaments have to be stripped off them or something. And what's odd about this is that they have three dreadnoughts in play, and red has two, yellow has two, and those are the only others out there. So people weren't really expecting them to vote against that. On the other hand, their dreadnoughts are not necessarily in the best of locations right now. One's in the backfield here. The other one's facing blue, but there isn't much blue left right now. So even weak dreadnoughts are better than what is there. Uh, and then, uh, let's see. I guess that's it. I think I'm going to want to actually take this strategy marker here. And nobody took the option of drawing an action card. Green just got a pile of them, though, which may help in their, their desire to go forward. That will move us up to player five over here. So now after uh, what happened, Blue ended up playing a card which broke a trade alliance between Purple and Red. Then Purple played to build uh, their forces up here. And remember, they've got the warfare action, so they can move that force. That provides quite a threat against Green. Now, Green thought they were real close to taking three planets, like they have it planned out and thought they could do it. But Yellow took an action to move in here. They played, uh, oh, no flank speed, which allowed them to pull their dreadnoughts from up here forward. And they've now taken uh, that green planet. And this is with kind of an agreement with Red. That Red's not going to come invade uh, these planets that were abandoned, essentially. Red's agreement was... I won't screw with the uh, attempts to stop red, uh, green at this point. So, uh, we've got one more person left over here. Let's we'll see what they do. And Black did indeed play their Imperial Power, took their victory points. Uh, not many people built. Red built a cruiser because they get it for free with the initiative action, essentially. They just had to pay resources for it, but yeah, resources that they paid from the wrong place, I think. Anyway, it doesn't much matter. Um, did Green buy? Green also bought, they bought a bunch of cruisers. Now with Dreadnoughts on the wane, cruisers seem, they actually have a better to hit number, even if they don't have the same stability that a Dreadnought has. Uh, what else? Nobody else did build, but what was revealed as a victory point card, I control 10 planets outside my home system worth 2 points. That's clearly available for green. I don't know if anybody else has it. It looks like yellow has a decent number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No. Other people did at one point. For example, black... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but they're well down now, too. So green definitely has it, though, and uh, red's not going to have it. Yeah. So that's a, a big jump where green's going to be perhaps in the lead in victory points as well as threatening for this. Of course, green was planning on buying something else, I believe. Uh, three tech advances of one color, I think. I think they have that. Yeah, yeah, they have that. They bought for that, and now they don't need that anymore. They want the two-point thing that's easier to take away from them. All right, uh, well, we'll start another round. But it looks like Yellow's move foiled Green from being able to win it outright. So some uh, 
trade agreements were fired off and he didn't he got his three bucks for this they also set up agreements with both uh, Letev and Mentak he and Letev have not been that antagonistic they had the one little spat and Mentak is far away and not a problem at all then uh, the Hakan got their whatever was left of the counters and because there's so many in their hands right now. Pretty much looking at trying to get some victory points for everyone. So for example, people like yellow and red, they're holding their money for firing off the I have 10 resources to spend or I spend 10 resources action. Uh, I also have some people who might be able to spend the trade goods one. Eh, it doesn't look like it. Oh well. Uh, this guy also may be able to five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, he's got it. He's got the cash available for the ten resources, which he's also going to spend. Basically, everybody's just trying to get their placement there because, in the end, this is not a game about uh, control of the galaxy so much in general. Something like this makes that an option. But the primary goal is just to get whatever these victory points are, however they show up, whatever opportunities there are. And at this point, it doesn't look like anybody's going to win with the massive supremacy option. So, see what you can do for other options. Purple took the action allowed to them because they were able to pull one off with the warfare the turn before to march in and attack the home planet of Blue. Of course, Blue had a scientist here and a defense base. They shot the purple carrier on its way in and <laughs> managed to kill it. Uh, but it was really the best option. If they moved here, the diplomat would have said, no, you can't land here yet. And here, they would have had to face a carrier and then some ground troops uh, to finish things off. Of course, they couldn't land here to attack uh, the blue space here because green owns that right now. And green actually lived by their bargain. They could have lifted this over and placed it here. That was one of the three planets they were going to take. Where were the other two? Um, shoot. I was looking at this, but I... Yeah, the other two were off of here. Actually, they could have done it if they hadn't passed. Huh. Because they haven't triggered this. This gray thing I saw here is actually not. Hmm. When did they pass? Let me see. They would definitely. Uh, they had three political. Let's see, black could interfere. Black doesn't have any ships. Red was already out. Yeah, let me uh, let me back up here. This is here. I'll think about that green one, whether or not it is going to uh, do what it did. but And normally I don't back things up like this, but this game is so hard to keep track of what's going on. So, I would make an invasion here. Uh, I can't take all three, that's the problem. That's why I'm back. Yeah, I'll, I'll just leave it as it just stands. Oh, I think I took this from here, I hope, I can't remember. It's easier to leave things as they stand than, uh, than to try to rewind like that. Basically what I was looking at is, oh, I got a carrier here. I can hit all three of these and I could take this. That's four planets. That's exactly what I need. Unfortunately, uh, I don't have a way to get this anywhere useful. I don't have any carrying capacity here. 
and these guys couldn't take two planets with any any reasonable option. So I would have only been getting two three, which is what I was counting on. The yellow planet, go, the yellow action prevented me from taking that. So that's uh, that's what happened there. And I think that's the end of the line. Blue has still an action, I guess. I'm not sure. I think I put them back. So I'm going to say everybody passed and go to the status phase and handle that. And no big surprises. We have some claimants here. A lot of people bought the I now spend 10 resources one. Uh, green, of course, took the I have 10 planets outside my home system. Green and yellow are tied for the lead with an 8. If yellow can eke out an extra turn, well, they're going to get the initiative next turn and the political the turn after. Unfortunately, there's only two cards, which means that doesn't work. Uh, so they're going to play the card they were going to play. Here's the thing. If I recall correctly, the game ends immediately. Let me... As soon as this, this happens to be the bottom one, which doesn't really matter. As soon as the game is revealed, the game ends and immediately. The player with the most victory points wins. That happens when the political card's turned over and you don't get the two victory points. So here's the thing. If he doesn't pick that, if he, he can't pick that right now, uh, and he's going to take the technology one using, he's going to hold on to it, using his... Uh, political stability card. This is what he wanted to do. Until I realized, hey, he's got the initiative pick. Um, he's not going to be able to get the 8 pick next turn. Red's going to get that. Which means uh, there are only There's no chance, if the game goes one, uh, two more turns, which it's going to, unless that next card ends up something uh, different. But if the game goes two more turns, what happens is, when he does turn it over, he gets nothing for it. He gets no victory points. The game just ends. And whoever's in the highest victory points at that point wins. Uh, so that's the best situation he can be in. Now, uh, Red could get lucky, and he's going to, because he's going to take it, and he'll get the two victory points for next turn, assuming there's not an auto win on, on top of that, which there might be. There's two of, two of these I win the game cards if I meet some condition. I don't know what the other condition is. I think I should probably know that, but uh, yeah, but that's, uh, that's where we stand right now. So green and yellow are tied for the lead. Yellow doesn't really have anything left that they can use for victory options. They're out. And green, well, green's got a lot of things that they can edge another point from. What about other people? Well, purple is not going to get two points. Blue, black, and orange are probably out of it at three points behind. They're two points behind right now, but they're three points behind uh, where things are going to be. Of course, red's got a possibility of jumping two points, and if they get another one, they're right up there in the lead. So, I don't know. All right. Up this one goes, and that was really depressing to see that it's not going to end this next turn either, probably. You know what? I am really not enjoying this solo at all. Um, I'm going to call it. <laughs> I thought about it before, pushed myself to this point. I don't think there's any chance green's going to get the automatic victory. Let's look at what the next turn would have brought. Well, another domination. I control all the planets in the home systems of two players. Well, that wasn't going to happen. So we were going to push it through two complete turns to the game over. And, you know, who's going to win? Damned if I know. I really do not. Uh, it is still a nail biter at this point. I think there are a couple of people with good chances. I would say that red, yellow, and green all have their shots at it. Why? Well, 
Red's got a couple easy, has an easy point to get on the uh, three tech advances of one color. Um, they can get that by just doing a tech. Of course, yellow's grabbed the tech already, so that's no problem. And red's also getting the two extra points. So they're going to be hitting around here, I'd say. Green. What is green going to do? Well, green also can get that one, which will put them up there. And finally, does yellow have anything they can do? I would say yellow has no chance of advancing their points. None whatsoever. Now, I don't know. Maybe there's an action card that advances your victory points. But that seems pretty extreme to me compared to some of the other stuff. So it would probably be very unlikely. Uh, let's see what the tying conditions would be. Because, again, I just really do not want to do this. Uh -huh. This is not enough fun, and there's no reason to torture myself, and those of you who are watching it, unless you're just getting pleasure out of me torturing myself, I can't see what the point is. So let's start paging through looking to see how you win the game, eh? Yeah, more fun. Uh, hmm. Oh, gosh, I don't know. Yeah, it's so much fun looking through this rule book, and it's not like I can put it on my lap because it's too big and it flops over my legs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Components at a big minus on this one, I'll tell you that. Ah, oh, well, it's here. Okay. Um, what if there's a tie? If there, if players tie, one will always reach ten. Yeah. So. As players one at a time. Okay, so what does that mean? Qualify for one player will get it. Who? Who's that going to be? Yellow is going to get first pick. Red's going to get last pick. Green's going to win. I think. Unless I'm wrong about how, how you get... How the status phase... Is that ordered? I don't know. Yeah. And... Uh... Following the order of play, so I'm guessing it'll depend on the numbers picked. God knows what that's going to be, but I could say this much. Red will be taking eight. They've taken seven. That means so long. No. And the only way that they can guarantee is by grabbing the initiative counter, which isn't bad. But then what? Then someone else, if everyone else passes, because they can't take the initiative twice in a row, if someone else passes, they won't get that. I don't know. Anyway, you know, I don't really care. <laughs> it's not that interesting. Because that's what too much of the game seems to be about, is manipulating things so that your little victory points are good. And too little seems to be about things that are really linked to this space story. Now, maybe you can come up with some backstory that works with it. Uh, and certainly with some of them, it makes some sense that these are things, you know, like these, you're bribing, you know, the keepers or whatever, and that's all great and everything. But, you know, it just, it doesn't feel as much like this, uh, I should go into this in, in the, uh, review, but it just does not feel as much like the big grand Space Empires game that I was hoping for. It feels a lot more like, I don't know, a Euro or a card game. I've got these things that are coming up, and I've got to buy these points, and I've got to match them, and this, that, and the other. And that, That's what I, I don't like about it, and that's really one of the central things when we get beyond the components, which are a real problem. And, uh, and then my own difficulty with the pulsing and the f speed of play where each person does one thing and then, uh, you know, uh, is watching everyone else go while he's trying to remember. So, yeah, <laughs> I'll go into this in the review. But, yeah, it, it, there's a lot of problems for me with this kind of game.